This year's Nobel Peace Prize winners have been announced. The committee awarded the prize to human rights advocate Alice Bailiaski from Belarus and two human rights organizations, one from Russia and one from Ukraine. CBS News foreign correspondent Roxana Saberi is joining us now from London with a little bit more on this. Roxana. And Maria, the prize is supposed to go to people or groups that do the most or best work to promote peace. The committee said it shows this year's three winners out of 343 candidates to honor what it calls human rights, democracy and peaceful coexistence in Belarus, Russia and Ukraine. The choices signal a rebuke of Russia during its ongoing invasion of Ukraine. In Belarus, Bialyatsky helped start the democracy movement in the mid-1980s. He continued to campaign for human rights and was jailed after protests. In 2020, he remains imprisoned without trial. In Ukraine, the Center for Civil Liberties promotes human rights and fights corruption. Since Russia invaded Ukraine in February, it's been documenting Russia, Russian war crimes. And Memorial is a human rights organization founded in the Soviet Union in 1987. It has continued to document abuses and the fate of political prisoners in Russia. The Kremlin shut down Memorial last year, but its work continues. And an interesting note on timing, Anne-Marie, this announcement comes on the 70th birthday of Russian President Vladimir Putin, but the Nobel Committee's chairwoman said the prize is not addressing Putin, except that his government and the government of Belarus are representing what she called authoritarian governments suppressing human rights and activists. Anne-Marie? It is quite a coincidence. Just the same, Roxana. Thank you very much. You're welcome.